One sentence summary. Being different isn't easy at a rugby obsessed Irish boarding school. For two people. Could you beat the villain? The personification of the main issue in the film, a dislike for those who don't conform, specifically homosexuality, is the rugby coach Pascal. And hell yeah, I could beat him. You take him out for a few jars on the night of the town, you play some Queen, play some Elton John, play some Electric Six. By the end of the night, he's going to be like, you know what? It doesn't matter, people are different because they can still be talented. Isn't that good? How would you improve the film? Ned is the main character and he's a bit of a bland rebel. He's just, oh man, I don't conform and I read old books and I listen to old music and stuff. Right, yeah, and why, why, why does that make you any different to any other rebel character? Boring, mate. Why was there a vinyl cave at the school? That was strange. And who was the handsome devil of the title? Was it Ned or was it Connor, the new kid? You'd think it was Connor, but he wasn't really a devil. And I suppose he was handsome if you like that sort of thing, but he wasn't my type either. Clearly something's edited out when Ned and the bully Weasel have their first interaction because Weasel has a jacket on and then all of a sudden his jacket is on the floor. Strange. Why does everyone think Ned is gay? He's got a lady bum poster on his wall, so you know that seems pretty conclusive proof to me. And how did Ned create the Berlin Wall of stuff between his side of the room and Connor's side of the room so quickly when he needed help to take it apart? Odd. Does Ned sleep in his school uniform often? Because according to the film he does. And why was Connor doing topless push-ups about five seconds after his mum and the head teacher left him in his new room? That seems strange, but alright. Ned does this trick with his old English teacher uh, where he'll take uh, song lyrics and make them into the essay. Number one, how do you stretch an entire song into an essay? Because he seemed to be doing it word for word when a song was my perfect cousin, that's the one, uh, when a song was being played. So it's not like he was just expanding the sentences or anything along those lines. And also, why would you try that same trick with a new English teacher who is much younger? You're going to get caught out. Thank God, Mr. Sherry, the English teacher, his uh, first few lessons were so memorable, so they could be quoted later on in the film. And Ned's narration, I don't like narration, we know that, uh, says that the head teacher wanted to be a kid, but he didn't really seem that that was the case. He just really liked rugby, and plenty of grown-ups like rugby, I'm sure. Connor didn't look much older than Ned, and he was wearing a school uniform, but he was allowed into a bar, but Ned got rejected from that bar. I think Ned might also have been wearing his school uniform, possibly, but the point still stands. The uh, school takes these kids on a rugby school trip, and apparently if they miss the coach home, they're on their own because they've got to find their own way back. If you're going to go for a wee in the street, say you're absolutely desperate and you've got to do it. Okay, don't do it in a main street. Find yourself a dark alley or something like that. It is odd to me that Pascal, the rugby coach, knew so much about Weasel's second cousin and the school he went to. Strange. And why did Connor beat up Weasel after one rugby tackle? That seems like a, an overreaction. Like the story of why he had to leave one school and come to the school in the film was because he was fighting all the time was that just a like prove his rep or is he an unstable young man can an english teacher force you to take part in a talent show that is not part of the curriculum because that seems like too much power to give someone mr sherry speaking of the talent talent show he should have helped ned at the talent show when connor didn't show up instead of just let ned sit on the stage doing a duet by himself. You know what? Where was Connor staying after he got blackmailed and he didn't return to his room that he was sharing with Ned? That was strange. And in the scene where Weasel blackmails Connor, Weasel appears to be wearing lipstick. Fine, that's just the acting. They do that. But he also seemed to look down at Connor's junk, bearing in mind Connor's in the shower at the time. So that was strong. Mandatory cheerleading practice interrupting lessons seems like bullshit. If I was one of the parents sending my kids to this school, I wouldn't be wanting to be paying for that. Mr. Sherry didn't actually tell Ned what the new chord that he taught him was, to thus prove that he was a cool young teacher because he knew chords and music and stuff. 
Why not explain to your dad that you think you know where that missing teenager is instead of just escaping from a moving car? Slow moving, but still moving. Uh, it seems reckless, and it seems like you're going to get yourself into more trouble because you've already been kicked out of school or whatever. Ned has escaped this moving car. Ned has escaped this moving car, and is that I finally understood why Connor uh, liked to run. You had to know what you're running towards. And the impression I got from the film was Connor wasn't running to things. He was running away from gay thoughts, like Tom Cruise in Family Guy. A couple of uh, kids miss the uh, coach home, and one of the teachers misses the coach home from this school trip. On, on the train, it seems you can see through the window, it seems to be dawn, so presumably they've got the first train back. They get back to the school, and it's pitch black. Well, okay, maybe... Maybe it's just darker where they are, and dawn hasn't yet arisen. And then Pascal, the uh, rugby teacher, he's just sitting or standing, looking out his window, drinking probably alcohol, glaring at people as they arrive. So, like, what time in the morning is he either getting up or can he not sleep? What's going on? Doesn't seem very healthy for him. At the end of the film, there's the big important rugby match, and some random people in the crowd give Ned an extra shirt that he can wear. They've just got one on them. That doesn't seem very COVID safe at all. It is irresponsible to let students drink alcohol and play with fire on school grounds. Some of the teachers have really dropped the ball there. At the end of the film, before the big old final part of the rugby match, the coach is like, look, Connor, because you're gay, you can't play rugby. And then one by one, the players cross the picket line and stand on Connor's side of the changing rooms, except for Weasel. He stayed on the coach's side, and yet he still got to play. Strange. Mr. Sherry kind of announces to the head teacher that he's gay by bringing his boyfriend to the rugby match, or his partner to the rugby match. And I was just thinking, like, that is a bit of a shit date for Arthur, I think his name was. Do you want to come to a stadium and watch some students that I work with play rugby it's going to be cold no i wouldn't i wouldn't do it like that at all why is there an essay writing contest in films like this about kind of oddball teenagers i'm thinking blinded by the light i'm thinking how to build a girl i'm thinking the third example and rating out of five beers i did like the awkward train scene and it was, um, it was a nice film it was fair enough i would give this a two out of five